Radhika Mervin and this is the big picture on monetary policy. In today's session, we will look at the Marginal Standing Facility or commonly known as the MSF, a tool which was introduced by the RBI only in 2011. This was to provide additional short-term funds to banks. Marginal Standing Facility or MSF is the rate at which banks borrow funds from the RBI against the government securities. Banks only use this window when there is shortage of funds. This may sound similar to the funds that banks borrow under the repo window. Well, in a way it is because here too banks borrow funds against their government securities. What distinguishes MSF rate from the repo rate is that the RBI charges a higher interest under the MSF. Hence banks use this window only as a last resort when they exhaust all other borrowing options including the repo window. The MSF rate currently is at 8.25%, a percentage point higher than the repo rate at 7.25%. The other difference is that under the repo window, banks use government securities to borrow funds which are in excess of their regulatory requirement. The RBI mandates that 21.5% of deposits is invested in government securities as SLR. If a bank holds 26%, then the additional 4.5% can be used to borrow funds under the repo window. Under the MSF window, the banks actually can borrow funds against the government securities that they hold as a part of their SLR. So given that banks have to pay a higher interest under MSF, will they actually use this facility? Ideally, no, because banks usually hold government securities in excess of their regulatory requirements. So whenever they need to borrow funds, they can do so under the repo window, which charges them a lower interest. In the past, in fact, banks have not used MSF window too frequently. This is because the RBI has lent them any amount of money under the repo window. But all this changed in July 2013. Thanks to the RBI's one-off liquidity measures, the banks could no longer borrow unlimited amount of money under the repo. This is because the RBI capped the amount that banks could borrow under the repo to 0.5% of deposits. Until then, the banks could borrow 1% or even more of deposits under the repo. Since the RBI capped the amount of money to almost half of the bank's requirement, it forced banks to borrow funds under the MSF window. Since the MSF rate is a higher interest rate, the bank's cost of funds shot up. But that's not all. The RBI also increased the MSF rate by 2 percentage points. This means that the MSF rate was 3 percentage points higher than the repo rate. The repo rate was 7.25% but the MSF rate was a steep 10.25%. Restricting the amount that banks could borrow under the repo and hiking MSF rate was part of the RBI's measures to defend the falling rupee. As the rupee stabilized, the RBI did reverse some of these measures. First, it reduced the MSF rate. The gap between the repo and the MSF rate was brought down to one percentage point as in the past, but the RBI did not remove the cap on funds that banks can borrow under the repo. Even now, banks can only borrow 0.25% of deposits under the repo. For any shortfall, they have to go to the term repo window a concept which was introduced in 2013 and we have looked at it in detail in another session. Banks now use MSF only if they exhaust their borrowing limits under the repo and the term repo window which are still a cheaper option.